What's up everyone? Welcome back to WRX Garage. Um, this video today is not going to be our typical car content, um, so I apologize for that. But um, you know, it's coming to the end of the year, it's Christmas time uh, or holiday time. So, um, you know, we just don't really have a lot of, of availability to work on the cars. We can't really get together because of COVID. Um, and then it's also, you know, it's 20 degrees out right now. So um, a lot of our projects kind of put on hold a little bit just so we can do some other things for now. But um, we wanted to just uh, put some kind of content out for this week. So um, what I decided to do is document uh, my computer build process. Um, I, I, I'm into computer gaming. Obviously, I use my computer for, for high-end um, video editing for the channel and everything like that. Uh, we might be switching over to 4K at some point uh, from 1080p. So comment down below if you guys really want to see 4K in our videos. Does it really matter to you? Um, yeah, just let us know. But um, so I'm going to be upgrading and building a custom PC. Uh, this will be a two-part series because I'm still waiting on some things um, to come in, like the uh, the new 3080. I'm trying to get my hands on one of those for the new graphics card. But um, yeah, so let's get into uh, what those parts are and uh, what I'm going to be doing. So the brains of, of the operation, we got the Core i9. 10850K, which is like the little brother of the 10900K. Um, Intel released this. Um, it's essentially like a D-binned 10900K because they were having issues with um, uh, keeping up with stock of the 10900K. So 1050K, um, it's essentially 100 megahertz slower on the core clock, but um, still will be able to fully boost this um, as high as really as high as we want so um well depends on the silicon value but yeah so there's that we got 32 gigs of g skill trident z um rgb of course this is um two eight gig eight gig kits uh it's 3600 megahertz uh, cl 18 i believe yep 3600 cl 18 uh, I got it for a really good price for on Black Friday, so that's why I went with that. Also on our list here, we have the SN750 M.2 drive. This is going to be a massive, massive upgrade for uh, putting all of my program files and my OS on. Uh, just a lot faster, a lot snappier. It's going to make um, Premiere and um, a lot of the Adobe Suite run a lot better. So. Also on the list here, we got the MSI. Let's see, there we go. MSI Z490 Carbon EKX. So this is actually a really interesting board because it was a partnership between uh, EKWB and um, MSI. So the um, for cooling the CPU and all of the VRM, you actually have a, uh, a proprietary monoblock solution from EK, which looks like this. Um, it's gonna be super, super good for keeping everything cool. Uh, I know MSI and motherboards kind of get a bad rep sometimes, but I've been using them for uh, in my past builds for quite some time and I'm familiar with the OS, I'm familiar with their BIOS and um, they've never really given me any issues even when um, like on my other board, uh, my old PC, which is a i7700K, I was actually able to overclock to um, 4.9 gigahertz. Um, no problem with that board. So um, this is gonna be great for those of you guys who are into cars. Let's see, this actually has carbon fiber little accents and you guys know there's a carbon fiber option. I'm going for it. Um, there also are some other ones on the board itself. Uh, what's also really nice about this loop, uh, about this kit is that it does, it does come with a EK leak tester, um, which is kind of hard to find right now. For some reason, like these um, are kind of like out of stock everywhere. So um, this came with it, $40 value. Um, if you purchased everything separately, you'd be losing like 100, maybe 200 bucks. So um, it's getting all this together. It's awesome. Um, for the water cooling side, we have pretty much Everything EK. We got EK fittings. Um, I went with black nickel. I'll show you guys that later. Um, but this is an the EK 
O, uh, let's see, O11D distribution plate G1. So this is gonna be going in my case, uh, which is going to be, of course, the mainly O11. Um, it's a really, really convenient way. Uh, it's, a, it's a pump combo. Um, it is a DDC pump, but um, from what I've heard, uh, they're pretty easy to replace in case that ever occurs, but um, I'm not worried about that yet. So that's that. Uh, we got two EK360 PE uh, radiators. I'm gonna be doing top and bottom rads with the distro plate in the, uh, the back rear of the O11. And then, just show you guys some of these fittings. So I did go with black nickel for all of them. So we got the ball valve, drain valve. We got our, I still need to figure out routing. So I got some double 45s here and then I got some 90s. Come on, focus. But I think with the black and dark silver and the black nickel uh, in the case, this is all gonna look really, really nice. Um, I did get these actual uh, little black inserts for going in the hard line tubing fittings. Um, and of course I am going PETG uh, for all of this. So we'll see how it goes. This is gonna be my first build ever doing uh, open loop cooling. Um, yeah, let's just get into it and get it started.
So one thing that I have not shown you guys yet is these. This is what I'm using for my fan solution. Um, these are the Lee & Lee Unifan SL120s. Um, they are very difficult to find right now and I did have to order these off AliExpress um, for a little bit of a, a extra cost, but um, I just like the modularity. As you can see, all three of these fans are linked together. Um, there are plenty of reviews about these specifically online. So like I said, um, it is a little bit of a mess. Um, not the greatest with cable management, but everything is basically uh, tucked down and pushed down. Uh, we're gonna have a big plate covering here that the all 11 comes with, the back of the distro plate here. Um, I have my drain tube tucked in there perfectly, so with my little ball valve. Um, and then the only thing left to do really um, is the hard tubing and uh, which I'm waiting for the silicon insert because the one I got is the wrong size So there will be a part two for this guys for you guys to see the final product and then finally is um, just to install these um, I have the cables already run to those the SATA and the power cables, but the um, My hard drives So I have one big hard drive one SSD going in here, and then I'm gonna be doing two M.2s on the front um, And then there's also more mounting for SSDs on that big plate that's gonna be right here um, so in the case I want to expand in the future, I could do that. Um, here's the hub controller for uh, Lee and Lee's fans, right there in the front, or right there in between. I'm gonna put by some Velcro tape, so it's like a semi-permanent solution to stick right there, so it stays in place. Um, the pump, RGB, fan cabling, everything is done. Um, the SATA power cables are done, SATA information cables are done. Uh, let me flip it over so you guys the front. Okay. So, here are the Lee and Lee fans installed on the top and bottom. Got my distro plate. I have all the fittings done, ready for hard tubing. Here and here, here and here. Um, all the connections down here are done. USB, USB type C. I have this weird, I use two um, 45s. It's a two, it's a two times 45 degree fitting. Uh, and I use two of them, one for each slot, kind of to offset them. And I'm pretty sure the line, it's gonna line up perfectly with these two right here. Um, here, this is not plugged in just so I can uh, test the pump later on. Um, so I guess I'll just tuck that down just like that. But overall, very, very clean. Cabling is very, very good. Um, these two are just hanging out here because these are gonna be for the GPU once I get that. Um, overall, yeah. Really excited to see how this is gonna come out, so. So, that's all we have for you guys this week. Um, unfortunately, like we said, um, we just can't really do any car content right now. It's right around Christmas time, so we're gonna be taking the next two weeks to really kind of plan out the rest of the year. And um, we're kind of saving up, you know, just so we can um, you know, <laughs> afford presents for our families. We're not made of money. So unfortunately, uh, no content, car content this week, but coming very, very soon, guys. Please keep up with the channel. Thank you. Uh, and sorry for this kind of random video. Uh, um, for those of you that are into computers, you know, this is actually something you might be interested in. So um, we'll probably end up doing like a part two later on once I get all the complete parts in. I'll uh, document the hard tubing process and all that. But anyways, um, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Thank you for watching and uh, we will see you next week.